Today I am in a situation since uh, three seasons where I, I took the drive of, of, a, of a huge legendary brand who has such a DNA who has put asleep for 10 years, you know. Because uh, the DNA original of, of Benetton was a disruptive company doing beautiful things for everyone with a very big sense of democratic clothes. But not, not uh, complacent, uh, not comment on dit complacent, not... Uh, uh, complacent, uh, same word. Oui, voilà. So I, I have, I have dig into the memory of Benetton, color, knitwear, uh, 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 particular creativity, you know, humor, humor, huh? and also some kind of a responsibility. It means sustainability, it means uh, also the way I speak to the customer, and also the world has changed. When I started to design when I was 17, you imagine kind of five decades ago, I was creating and I was creating like uh, to be on stage like Jimmy Page in Led Zeppelin, you know, it was, I was a rock star. Now it's very interesting because when I design, I think about what is going to be on Instagram, you know, what is going to be in the window, how I'm going to speak about the things I'm doing into something uh, uh, um, uh, conceptual. And uh, it's, it's interesting also because we are in a moment where I find there is a lot of creative, a lot of good designer, but everything is very expensive. If you want good design, if you want good style, you have to spend a fortune. Benetton has this capability of uh, good quality, you know, really excellent quality, good style and good price. And I find very modern this task I have because uh, it's challenging. Because uh, it, this moment is about, uh, it's about that. So yeah. what's good design, children's design to you? But it was my first children's show. Huh? So in life there is always a first time. You imagine after my career, first children's show. But you know the kids, when me, I have two kids, two boys. When I educate them, I, I was asking them to wear shorts until they were 10, you know. So I was a kind of a dictator. They still tell me that, you know. Instead, today, my grandson, who is 11, he speaks to me of Comme des Garçons and, and Supreme, yeah. you know, and he wants, and he wants, he wants Nike, and he wants a special edition of Virgil Abloh, you know. So he's cool, he's a cool kid, you know. Last night he sent me some logo, he said, maybe you should change the logo of Benetton, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so he's my first advisor, and I discovered that when he go to the store, he's his own curator. He's the curator of himself. The, uh, you know, the dictature of the parents is gone. And it's almost the, the inverse, you know. So I've tried to work on codes, you know, very precise codes, like puffy, like uh, iconic, but not, not too kawaii, you know, even my Snoopy is not too kawaii. It's a stripe, it's, uh, you know, you don't appear like to have, So it's, it's a way of treating modernity, you know. It's all about to treat modernity. And I think a lot of time I find, for example, in Italy, the clothes for girls are so girly. So I, I don't want that. I want uh, the little Benetton girl you have seen. I told her, I don't yeah, want you to smile too much in the show. Why you will smile, you know? <laughs> my grandson don't smile all the time, you know? Uh, you know, so be, a, be a kind of real, you know, not fake. They were so happy to don't smile, you know? <laughs> so it, it, it is about the girl, for example, the first brief I had was the color also, how to, to use pastel, but I, I like pastel, but I want also some bright, and also paillettes, you know, glitter. And also, here we have a cult for ceremony clothes, you know, to go to the church, you know, which is special to Italy. So little, little dark blue suit, little... So I put Kiss Haring drawings, because Kiss loved my kids, you know, he was drawing with them. And uh, it's also a fact, for example, in the store, when we're going to sell Kiss Haring, we will have the, the life of Kiss, you know, we will have a movie about how he was drawing. So the clothes has to have also an educational, educational responsibility. Sustainability, educational, influential. So it's a lot of things uh, uh, to think about. Uh, you've been talking about uh, Instagram. Oui. And you told that um, you are thinking about Instagram when you are drawing. Oui. 
So what are you going to but think uh, about that? You know, uh, uh, recently I have a, a, a discussion with a very, uh, a very sensitive man about uh, uh, marketing, you know, the big department store, and he says to me, Jean-Charles, uh, to, to really transform uh, your work, you should, uh, you should direct to the Instagram. <laughs> you, your, so your, you have a new job now? No, I have, it, my job is uh, everywhere. I design the set here, you know. I, des I, 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 I do, I do everything. But bien sûr, because it's about one vision, you know. If I let someone, I have a good team to realize it. Like now we're going to go to Milan on the 2020 to present the women and the men and the children. I design the set because everything is about emotion and experience, you know. When I start this profession, the, the, the marketing people, they used to say, you have four P, Jean-Charles, you know, when I work for Max Mara. P, one P was the produce, the second was the positioning, the third was the price, and the last one was the publicity. And then you win. Today is not that anymore. You can buy from your bed, you know. You can stay in your bed and buy all the universe. You don't need to go to the store. So Benetton is a store brand, you know. So those stores have also the vocation to become a place of entertainment, of experience, of emotion. So I would say it's more about E, ecology, experience, emotion, entertainment, and e-commerce. So we have passed from the P to the E. <laughs> so it's a revolution. The world today, fashion is a revolution. It's not the same. I have no nostalgia. It's more interesting now. You know, it's like it's like the music for the kids. I put all the best, the best, uh, cool guy. You know, the Blaze. I put uh, uh, Joe Godard because why I will put music for kids when they don't listen music for kids anymore. Yeah. So it's interesting because uh, in the kids you have a kind of a kind of a pure spontaneity and they have become earlier of uh, thinking. I was not thinking like them when they are ten today. And now it's big evolution, but they have to stay kids, so Thank it's you. an interesting challenge, very interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Merci. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to you.